troubleshoot like tech. My name is Jim Jansen, and we are continuing our video series, Expressway Smart Licensing. Today we're going to configure and troubleshoot smart licensing on Expressway. If you recall from our previous video, we went to the Cisco Smart Software Manager portal, generated tokens, viewed licenses, and managed both. So let's continue on to configuring Expressway. If you want to configure Expressway with a smart license, you need to navigate to the Smart Licensing page, enable Smart Licensing, choose a method to connect to the smart server, and apply the token. On the Expressway web interface, we can navigate to Maintenance and Smart Licensing. On the Smart Licensing page, we go to Configuration, Smart Licensing Mode, and we choose the drop-down box and set it to On. Please note, after Smart Licensing is enabled and successfully registered to CSSM, the customer cannot go back to PAC licensing without a factory set of the Expressway server. Next we choose our transport method. You can choose Direct, Cisco Smart Software Manager on-prem or satellite server, or we could choose Proxy Server. In our demonstration today, we will configure proxy server as our transport method. Now that we have chosen proxy server as the transport method, we see two required fields. The first one is the proxy address. We will enter the IP address or the fully qualified domain name of our proxy server. Next, we go to the port field and enter the port which the proxy server is listening on. In some circumstances, your proxy server requires rec credentials. Use the username and password field to enter that information. We see a new checkbox, do not share my host name or IP address with Cisco. This setting determines if the serial number or host name is seen in the CSSM portal. We will look at that later. You can also log into the command line interface with the admin account, issue the command xconfig slash slash license and see the same information. For instance, we can see Smart Enable Mode is on. We can see Smart Proxy Address is myproxyhost.domain.com and more importantly, the License Smart URL, which is smartreceiver.cisco.com forward slash license service forward slash license. So, I come in Monday morning and the authorization or registration is no longer valid. What can I do? Well, we go to the action section and we have a additional operations drop down box. The first thing we can do is renew authorization now. When we do that, the Expressway is going to choose its transport method to reach out to the CSSM server and try to renew authorization. We can do the same thing for renew registration now. There's a third option on this drop-down box that's interesting, which is deregister. The product instance reverts to the evaluation mode, provided that the evaluation period has not expired, and all license entitlements used for this product instance are released immediately to the virtual account and are available for other products to use. Please note, if you deregister, you have to go back to the CSSM portal to get another token to register again. Here we see in the registration section that I have pasted my registration token from CSSM. Then I click the register button. Now on my page we see that my registration status is registered, my license authorization state is authorized, and more importantly I see smart account and virtual account information. I also see that I have a UCM enhanced license consumption of 1 and its state is authorized. This is because I have an endpoint registered to my Expressway server. Back on the Smart Licensing Portal, we go to Inventory, Product Instance tab, and we can see the registered instances of names of Expressway. We can see Expressway E-12-6 is my host name from the Expressway server. This is seen in CSSM because I did not choose to hide my IP or host name during the configuration of transport. 
For my Expressway C, I did choose to hide the host name and IP address during the configuration of transport. So the only thing I see now is the UDI PID for Expressway. The UDI is the serial number of that Expressway server. If I log into the Expressway C as the admin, we can issue the command x status slash slash UDI and see the same information as is in the CSSM portal. Again on the Cisco Smart Manager portal, we go to Inventory and Licenses, and I can see all the licenses I purchased. Uh, for instance, the UCCM Manager Enhanced License 12 is uh, purchased 10, and I have one consumption in balance of 9. If I click on that license, I get more detailed information regarding that license. If I go to the Product Instances tab under that license, we can see which product is actually consuming that license. In my case, it's the Expressway E12. We can also have an option here on this page to transfer the license to another virtual account. Under the event logs, we can see different things that have transpired on the portal for us. For instance, here I see 10 new UC Manager Enhanced Licenses were purchased. On the transaction history, we can see the transaction date of the purchase of that desktop licensing. We can also, more importantly, see the expiration date of those licenses. So let's continue on to Expressway Smart Licensing Troubleshooting. First, there are some limitations for the smart licensing. Smart software licensing feature is only supported on Expressway series, not the VCS. Customers who currently use Expressway with any of the following option keys must retain pack-based licensing mode. If you have the Advanced Account Security option key, Hardware Security Module, or HSM, or the Microsoft Interoperability option key, you must retain the pack-based licensing mode. Okay, we have completed the smart licensing configuration for Expressway. However, the Expressway is still not registering or getting authorized to the CSSM server. What can we do to troubleshoot this? First, we'll enable our debug logging for Expressway and download those logs. We will open up our xstatus file and look for this section called Smart Licensing Status. Under the Smart Licensing Status, we can see that the Smart Licensing is enabled, which is a good thing for us. We can see that the Registration Status is Registering, Registration in Progress, which is also good. That means the Expressway knows that it needs to go out and do some Smart Licensing registrations. So why is it failing? Let's look for the failure reason. The failure reason says, unable to resolve server hostname domain name. So which server is this talking about? It's talking about our CSSM smart receiver. So we look at the PCAP that was downloaded with our bundle, and we see that the expressway at 14.49.18.253 is reaching out to my DNS server at .252. It is sending a A record and quad A record request for smartreceiver.cisco.com, so the Expressway is doing its job, is sending it to the DNS server. However, the DNS server is responding to us and saying, no such A record, no such quad A record, no SRV record, no C names. It cannot find what we're asking it for. So, smartreceiver.cisco.com is not being resolved by our DNS server. Most likely is because there's no forwarder on the DNS server to reach the internet to resolve this for us. Another troubleshooting method for the DNS is to go to the DNS lookup tool on Expressway, enter smartreceiver.cisco.com, and click lookup. As you can see, the response here I get is the correct information as I corrected my DNS server. In the PCAP, we can see that Expressway is now sending information to the new DNS server 172.18.108.43. This DNS server has access to the internet and was able to resolve 
smartsreceiver.cisco.com. And we see we have answers here with a public IP and additional records in case that one answer does not work for me. So hey, it resolved. But I'm still not getting registration. I'm still not getting authorization for my Expressway server. So let's continue troubleshooting. We'll get a new fresh log of the Expressway and we're going to see in the same X, X status file that the smart licensing status is still enabled. We're still getting registering registration in progress, but what's the new problem? We see that the registration failed on August 3rd, but the reason why was unable to establish connection to server. So there's no licenses, no authorization. So we have a transport issue with direct CSSM satellite or proxy server. And of course, in our situation, we have a proxy server that we need to troubleshoot. So why are we having transport difficulties? We look again at our X status file from the log bundle and we look under transport. We see that the transport type is smart and the URL is correct. But we notice the proxy server address and the port number. That doesn't seem right to us for some reason. Notice that the IP address is 132.18.108.61. Please note you can also go to the command line interface as the admin and issue the command x status slash slash proxy to get the same information. And we notice here in my instance that dot 61 is not going to be the correct IP address for our proxy server. So let's look at the PCAP here. On our initial send to the proxy server, we get a response, destination host unreachable. Again, this is a evidence that the IP address 172.18.108.61 is wrong or has issues with transport. Now that I corrected my proxy server address to 172.18.108.60, then we can see that the transactions are now getting successfully sent with a SYN act we see that the hypertransfer protocol proxy connect host name is correct. The port number is correct for CSSM, but we're still not getting registered for some reason. Let's find out why. Here I'm showing you a snippet of the log snapshot text file from an expressway debug log. This is very verbose, so we're focusing on an important line in that log. If we look at the log here, we see some information that will give us a clue to why we're not registering. The registration status shows us that we're unregistered, registration failed, registration smart account is blank, and registration virtual account is blank, which should be populated. But more importantly, we see the reason why we failed. Registration fail reason. Token, the token blah 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 is not valid. Well, the reason it's not valid is because I put bogus information into the registration field and then click register. The expressway didn't uh, reached out to the CSSM portal and got rejected for that token. Now that I put in a correct token, we can now see in our PCAP that we're getting connected to the smart receiver, we're getting a 200 OK established connection, and then registration now can begin. Here's another snippet of a logging snapshot bundle. We're going to look at this log snapshot and see how we can demonstrate that the Expressway is registered. We first see registration status is registered. We see the authorization status is authorized along with the evaluation periods. We see the registration smart account is internal test demo account 8.cisco.com. We see our registration virtual account is Cisco TAC Telepresence Team RTP. And we see our product instance ID. We also note that the registration failure reason is no longer an error, but OK. And we see our authorization periods in Epic Unix time that we can decode. OK, back on our virtual account, we can see below that the token for the Expressway C has been issued three times. This is because the Expressway C was deregistered then the token was issued again on that Expressway C. 
If you deregister the expressway, you have to come back to the CSSM portal and get another copy of the token to it and apply it to the smart licensing page as before. This can also indicate that you've used the token three different times on different instances of the expressway. I hope this training has been beneficial to you and please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Like Tech. Thank you and have a good day.